Um, so before I forget is a narrative exploration game about a woman with dementia. What Remains of Edith Finch um, from a writing perspective, the Uncharted games, and I really loved the Spider-Man game. Objectively, my favourite game series is probably Pokemon. I have a lot of happy memories from that. Um, particularly Pokemon Silver was always a favourite of mine. Um, I was a video games journalist for a really long time and also wrote um, prose fiction on the side. So yeah, those worlds collided and here I am. What inspired me to make games was playing them as I uh, grew up and then just getting really excited about how all these different components got put together and thinking about the art and the music and the technology. I guess I was just interested in all those aspects of it and wanted to see if I could do something like that myself. I think the best tip would be to just take your time with the game. It's quite slow paced and it's sort of designed for you to not have to rush around and be able to experience it at your own pace. And in terms of an Easter egg, uh, the main one that I can think of is that there are four pieces of sheet music hidden around the game that if you do find them all and you are able to read sheet music, you may be able to play something afterwards. That when we decided on the name before I forget, we could never remember. <laughs> and I'm like, I'd have to, I'd, like when someone said, oh, what's the game called? I would literally sit for a hot second going, remember, no, before I forget. Before I Forget is a short um, but impactful game and it's now available for free with Prime. So we really hope you enjoy playing it. Go get it! Woo! <laughs> <laughs>